the United Kingdom has taken a landmark step towards a more sustainable future with the commencement of construction on its first ever geothermal power plant in Cornwall. This groundbreaking project, spearheaded by Geothermal Engineering Limited, is poised to revolutionize the nation's renewable energy landscape. Expected to be operational by late 2024, the United Downs plant harnesses the natural heat trapped within deep granite rocks through two wells drilled and tested in 2019 and 2020. This innovative approach holds immense promise with the potential to provide clean and reliable energy for approximately 70,000 homes in Cornwall by 2028. Beyond electricity generation, the project boasts an exciting additional benefit. Recent tests at United Downs revealed exceptionally high lithium concentrations in the geothermal fluid, making it one of the richest sources in Europe at 340 parts per million. This paves the way for the UK to become a significant player in sustainable lithium production, a crucial element for the booming electric vehicle industry. The project's significance extends beyond energy generation. The project has a role in creating green jobs and solidifying Cornwall's position as a leader in environmental innovation. Moreover, Geothermal Engineering limited success in securing three contracts for difference last year marks a historic first for geothermal energy in the UK. These agreements guarantee a fixed price for the sale of renewable electricity, ensuring financial stability and attracting further investment in this promising sector. The construction of the UK's first geothermal power plant represents a pivotal moment in the nation's journey towards a greener future. This project not only offers a sustainable energy solution, but also fosters innovation job creation, and economic growth, setting a powerful example for other nations to follow. For the last century and a half, we've been relying on oil and gas fossil fuels to, to kind of power our world, but, but we know that it's not good for the planet, you know? So we know that the, the carbon emissions is going up there, it's, it's, it's driving global warming. And, and there's a whole set of environmental issues that's, that's spilling off the back of that. So the direction of travel for the energy world is, is pretty clear. It's going to be renewables, it's going to be wind, it's going to be solar, and it's going to be geothermal. Deep Geothermal works by drilling two deep wells. The production well is the deepest at 4.5 kilometres, and it will suck hot water out of an underground reservoir which will be passed through a heat exchanger and will drive a turbine. The water will then be injected into an injection well at a shallower depth of 2.5 kilometres and this water will circulate between the wells, creating a renewable system that is on a continuous loop. We have done a vision for energy which has very ambitious targets that by 2030 that Cornwall will be producing 100% of its electricity from within the county. The only hope we've got of achieving it is if we do bring forward projects such as this which will enable us to boost up the renewable energy supplies in the county. So we're really banking on this to be a success. Cornwall's ready to take on any type of technology such as this, so all the component parts are there to grow it. If it's proven and it works, I think Cornwall actually will take it and grasp it and run with it and become real success. To be able to have a solution like that in Cornwall would be so exciting. To know that there's this great opportunity, not only for the community that live around that area, but just to know that Cornwall can do something wonderful again. I'm very excited that we could possibly be spearheading a way of generating clean renewable energy that has absolutely no pollution whatsoever and will also generate new industries that we haven't even dreamed of. I'm very optimistic uh, about what I'm hearing in the community uh, about how they're receiving the ideas that are coming out of geothermal already. As a Paul Guth boy, you know, who grew up with mines on either side, we're half tin, half clay in Paul Guth, you know, to find ourselves going back underground now to find the kind of key resource for the 21st century in a way that is only beneficial for the environment uh, is a great, exciting thing to do.